A trucker didn't stay or say a word after smashing into a South Monroe soup kitchen, but neighbors are stepping up and doing plenty. NBC 10's Bria Jones live at Granny's Kitchen, where folks are giving labor and cash to get the walls up, the roof on, and the hot lunch is flowing pretty soon. Hey, Bria. Yeah, that's right, Gordon and Natasha. I want you guys to take a look over here. You can see tire marks after police say an 18-wheeler came through and sideswiped Granny's Kitchen. And as you can see, this damage is extensive. And when the community got word, that's when they reached out to lend a helping hand. Granny's Kitchen has been serving the community for decades. But after an 18-wheeler crashed through the wall of the building Tuesday, the doors were forced to close. A small setback before what they hope will be a major comeback. My phone started ringing and people started coming. It was a big relief. I ain't even got no rest, but I'm happy that all these people open their hearts and their wallets to do something. People like contractor Clay Nelson, who's volunteered a team to do all the services for free. A lot of different vendors and subcontractors, and it literally took 10 minutes to put it together. And Representative Marcus Hunter chipping in, too. He has family ties to the Southside staple. Grant is going to always make sure everybody's taken care of, whether it's your children, anybody in the community. And that is what this community kitchen was about. <clears throat> And it's what it is about, and we want to make sure that that continues to occur. We're going to try to get the health department out here and find out if we still can serve food out of the back door. Nelson says his team is on standby, and he could hear the joy in Willis's voice. I don't know them, but I know enough about them to know that they serve people they don't know every day. As for Willis, his heart is heavy once again, but this time filled with happiness. You can't even describe how I feel. As, as they told me yesterday, it's a blessing in disguise. Yeah, we needed a new roof, now we finna get one. So, you know, as a tragedy, it turned into a blessing. The soup kitchen says on average they feed more than 80 people a day and don't know how soon they'll be able to reopen their doors. If you'd like to help, you can do so by donating at Origin Bank. Reporting live in South Monroe, Bria Jones, NBC 10, your local news leader. Wow, great story, Bria.